575. Well, you get rid of the humidity. Oh, yeah. I agree. We take juicy summer tomatoes for granted, but that's a mistake. At the Biggs Family Farm in Owasso, they've noticed a change over the last 30 years. Things are different with their harvest these days. Our garden don't do as good. I mean, you don't have, they're not productive because you don't have the bees to pollinate. And without them, you, you're, a, you're in bad shape. Many of the vegetables they grow just aren't doing as well. She says other bugs pollinate, but there's no substitute for honeybees. They work hard, and there are so many of them in a hive. Just around the corner at the RJSB farm, the owner is working on the problem. It's not simple, but pesticides are a part of it, and he doesn't think the EPA has been very aggressive. Like Europe, you know, they've banned pesticides 20 years ago that we're still using. You know, so why is it that their organizations look at it and go, this is bad, and we're going to ban this? And our EPA looks at it and says, well, it's not so bad. The bees are also being stressed by parasites and viruses. Plus, there's a concern about changes in the environment, so beekeepers have their hands full. He's working hard to breed bees that meet all the challenges they're facing. But how the beekeepers do matters to every one of us every time we open the refrigerator. You can absolutely see a drastic reduction in the availability of foods that we think are so common and so easy that we just go get all the time. They just won't be there anymore. I just do. Yeah.